Hello everyone, Javodicus here. Today I'm going to be doing a class guide for Skyguard Grenadier, which is the Skyguard Reputation Rank 10 Faction class. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going through some enhancements, uh, some PvP suggestions. I'm going to go through all of the skills of Skyguard Grenadier, and I'm also going to hit up the passives. So just about anything that I can dig up on the class is going to be in this video, so you guys know everything about it. Now, Skyguard Grenadier does happen to be member only, and uh, it was actually released a whole week earlier for anyone who had actually ranked up Reputation 10 Skyguard faction. And those people got to play around with this class a whole week before anyone could use the Adventure Coin shortcut, but it was released later, and unfortunately the AC shortcut is also member only, and I'll show you a way to get that now. Just go to Shops, Classes, Armors, scroll down. Skyguard Grenadier is going to be right here for sale for 2000 ACs. As you see, it is still member, but it's uh, AC storage, so you can just pop it in your bank if you ever don't want to use it. I actually ranked mine, so I do not have the AC version. Now, one thing I remember about this class is when it first came out, everyone loved it. Everyone, uh, especially 1 vs. 1 PvPers, they fell in love with it, and there were just Grenadiers everywhere. The, you couldn't join a queue without fighting one. Now, Skyguard Grenadier was actually released with a new um, addition to the Skyguard storyline, and it was just kind of a way of showing everyone thank you for playing it. Because the Skyguard storyline was solely for members only, yeah, no non members can play through the Skyguard storyline. Uh, I think there's only a small little uh, uh, bit that non members can play through, and I think that's airship, and then you have to be a member to do anything else. But, uh,. You can also get the member-only reputation version of Skyguard Grenadier from Skyguard, which I'll show you how to get now. Alright, here we are in Skyguard, and you would just talk to Dreamweaver here. You would open the reputation shop. Now, the Skyguard rep shop is awesome because it has so much in it. But right here is the Skyguard Grenadier. You will have to enhance it before you can use it. But it is free if you have gotten the rank 10 reputation. You can just buy it. You don't even have to pay any gold for it. But as I said, it has all this different stuff in it. Now the Skyguard Grenadier does actually come with uh, a weapon and helm. And it is this grenade launcher. It has nice range. So anyone wanting a little bit unstable, not totally unstable weapon, uh, grenade launcher is a really good one. And also the Grenadier Helm, which is epic rarity and it's also free. It comes with the class. Now there was not a cape made specifically for... Um, Skyguard Grenadier, but you can make one or if you like me, you don't need a cape and you can still look awesome. Okay, Skyguard Grenadier enhancements. Um, basically, in short, what I did was I took several different enhancements. I fought a boss with it three times. I timed myself those three times, killing it, and I averaged them together to find out which did the most damage the fastest. Many people use full fighter, many people use full luck, many use a combo of the two, but I'm actually doing something a little bit different. And uh, this that I'm going to be using is the one that got the best time. It could be a fluke, but since I fought the monster several different times and averaged the times together, I don't think it is, but you never know. You may have gotten, I may have gotten lucky on three different tries. Now, what I'm going to be using is unarmed in this uh, guide so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I have a fighter all enhancement, I'll explain which one later. On my weapon, I have thief on my class and luck on my helm and cape. And that just happened to get about 1.23 seconds faster than any of the other average times I got. One of my other friends also said to use uh, 3 luck and 1 hybrid on my class. And I didn't think it would work out, but you might try it out. I didn't have time to test another one. I tested about 4 or 5 enhancements right before I recorded this video. So if you guys want to try that out, go for it. It's just out there. But to get the enhancements, obviously luck is here at Cicero, you're just going to open Cicero enhancements and then he's going to have a shop button here. Thok is for your fighter, you're just going to go to enhancements here, shop, close, close. And for Thief, you're going to come here to Yulga. Now I really miss the nice little convenient trainer room where you could just go and find Thief and Wizard and Fighter and Healer enhancements all in the one little place. Now, right here. To Maitreya, you can open her enhancement shop and get Thief. Or, if you don't want to run around all the time, you can just open here, Shops, uh, Enhancement, and you can access all of the different enhancement shops conveniently right there in that little thing, so you don't have to run around like I do.
Now, if you have access to the O announcements, click here, click here, click here. What did I have? Fighter, right? Yeah. You're going to open your Fighter enhancements for all. And what I'm going to recommend is Health Vamp because uh, Skyguard Grenadier does have a small heal over time. Actually, it's not that small. It's about 100. And we'll see it later. But I recommend Health Vamp because you don't have a standard way of getting a lot of health back really quickly and it might help you out quite a bit. Also, all blast or spiral cough wouldn't be a terrible bad idea. Uh, because you have the mana regen of a warrior, I don't recommend mana vamp because you're not really going to need it. You get mana back fairly quickly with this class. Now it's time for the passives and skills. So, your first Skyguard Grenadier passive is called Adrenaline Rush. It increases your dodge by 10%. Your second is called Battlehorn and that increases your damage by 10%. So you get an overall 20% boost from your two rank 4 passives. Uh, Skyguard Grenadier does also have a rank 10 passive and it is called Tactician. Uh, rarely you see a chance to turn the battle in your favor. You give this attack everything you've got, causing very high damage to up to two targets. Uh, I actually got this passive while uh, testing enhancements and I think I non-crit around 4000 on that uh, monster. And that was pretty neat, I hadn't gotten it before then. So it's just a random on auto attack chance to deal high damage to two enemies. Now keep in mind that I am using an arm, so whatever I hit is the exact average of what I will hit, and I will hit it exactly like that every time. Now your first skill with Skyguard Grenadier is called Hamstring. It costs 10 mana, has a 4 second cooldown, is a physical skill. Uh, light damage lowers enemy damage output for 4 seconds, plus applies weakened state. Weakened state replaces any other state. Now that weakened state replaces any other states kind of like word right now, but that's uh, it's not that complicated. I'll explain it in about like a minute because I have to be able to get into another skill, so I'll just wait. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, just worry about it's going to reduce the amount of damage they do to you for four seconds. So you're just going to apply hamstring. Uh, non crits 171. Skyguard Grenadier has 100% weapons damage, by the way, so that's why it's doing 227. And there's that. So that is her hamstring, and as you saw, it applied weakened state. Now, your second skill is called Flashbang. It costs 15 mana, has an 8 second cooldown. So as you can see, that's kind of a heavier cooldown than the other skill. It is a physical skill. Moderate damage reduces enemy's chance to crit, plus applies blinded state to the enemy. Blinded state replaces any other state. Now, what that means, now I can explain what weakened state and blinded state are. Blinded state, basically, if you have already applied weakened state, blinded state will replace it, so it will just fade off. So far, you don't know what those do, don't worry about them, just know that if you use uh, flashbang and then hamstring, weakened state will replace the uh, blinded state that flashbang applied. So, we're going to go ahead and use it. There you go, flash playing, the flashbang, blinded. It hits exactly the same as your auto attack does. And we're just going to keep going until he's dead. Okay. Third skill is called sleeping gas. Okay. Third skill is called sleeping gas. Costs 15 mana, has a 10 second cooldown, and is also physical. Moderate damage up to two enemies, reduces enemy haste, and has a chance to stun for four seconds. Plus, it applies gas state to an enemy. Gas state replaces any other state, so like you can't have weakened and blinded if you use gas. So this is going to hit both of these for moderate damage, and it's going to have a chance to stun. Hopefully we get that. Nope. Okay. So, as you can see... It has one AOE skill. Just gonna go ahead and kill this guy so we move on. Okay. So when you're using this class and it says moderate damage, that roughly means exactly the same as your auto attack. Sorry, had to do something. Anyway. Reactive Grenade is your fourth skill. It costs 25 mana, has a 9 second cooldown, and a really long description that I have to read. It is a physical skill, has high damage plus a secondary effect based on whichever state was last applied to your foe. Weakened state secondary effect is called Bleed, and it causes the damage over time to your enemy. Blinded state secondary effect is called Rally, and that causes a heal over time to you. 
gas state secondary effect is called elude and it causes increased damage resistance to you. All secondary effects last six seconds. So first I'm just going to show you the damage of uh, reactive grenade. 567 non-crit. And I think it crits 1,300 and something. Let's see, try to get a uh, crit on him. On anyone. Nope, okay, keep trying. There we go, 1,317 damage for crit with reactive grenade. Now, I can actually get into what's important. We can state, first we have to show you the deal over time. So to get the deal over time effect, you're going to use uh, hamstring and it will apply weakened. And then you're just going to use reactive grenade and it will apply bleeding. It gets a 124 damage over time with this stable uh, weapon. Next, I have to show you the heal over time from blinded. I uh, missed. Crap. Okay, try again. Apply blinded, flashbang, and then reactive grenade. And I get a 166 heal over time on myself. So it's pretty nice, both skills are pretty nice. Now, watch the damage that he does to me. 47 non-crit, 45 non-crit, 53 non-crit, miss, crap. I need a crit. I would like to see a crit. 51 crit. 88. Okay, there you go. Now, we're going to apply uh, sleeping gas. Oh, stun. There's the stun right there. And then we're going to apply crap. Well, we can't, we dominated him. So, don't worry. They all hit the same. So, we're going to apply sleeping gas and reactive grenade. And it lowered his damage from 44 to 21. Just like that. And elude faded, so it only lasted about two auto attacks, so it doesn't last very long. Um, but it does have that chance to stun. Pew. And that is Skyguard Grenadier's skills. And this has been my Skyguard Grenadier class guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, uh... Please comment and tell me why so I don't make the same mistakes twice. Subscribe if you want to. I'm going to have plenty more class guides out soon. Uh, Sky God Grenadier, I would recommend it for 1 versus 1 PvP because it's a lot of fun. And uh, most of its skills are higher range so you can slide around with it and just dominate everyone. Uh, high crits, heal over time, damage over time. It has 1 AoE so it does decently okay in Blood Rut Brawl. Farming, I wouldn't really recommend it for because there's so many other ones. But it, it would do okay because it can just knock out lower HP uh, monsters fairly quickly. Boss battles it would be okay in as long as it has something to support its health because the heal over time is takes a while to cool down and it isn't very high. It only gets like three heals over the course of its heal over time before it cools off. Skyguard Grenadier would be okay for going through the uh, storyline with because it has decently high damage and nice auto attacks and um, the only downside to it are its cooldowns. If you spam all of your skills together, you're going to have to wait a little bit before you can use another one because they're like 4 seconds, 8 seconds, 9 seconds, 10 seconds, something like that. But all in all, Skyguard Grenadier is basically a nice 1 versus 1 PvP class to play around with and it's, it's, it can be a lot of fun to use. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the class guide. Uh, like, comment, subscribe like I said. Uh, and tell me what class you want me to do next. Jevo is out.